Okay, I'm going to show you really quickly how to import uh, 3D models into your Tinkercad project. When you click on the import button up here, you see it says 2D or 3D. We talked about the 2D, which is your SVG, so your scalable vector graphics that you can bring in. And those are the flat 2D objects. Now we're gonna do 3D objects. So it can be either something you've already created or you can find models elsewhere. So I'm gonna to go to this other Tinkercad file that I have, and I'm just going to copy and paste it. And you can do it with multiple things. It just works like you're in the same document. And that's it, super easy. Now, um, if for some reason you're having issues with that, you can also export and import. So I'm gonna select this one, export, and remember you want the STL, don't worry about the OBJ, because we haven't talked about that. And then once it exports here, I'm gonna say import, whoops, go back to here, then I'm gonna say import, and I'm going to pop it in there. And it does give you the option of changing the size. So if you are building something and you want a specific size, then that would be great. You can change it there. Um, when you import stuff from other websites, sometimes they're gonna be huge. Uh, then you definitely wanna bring it in. I already know the size of this because I made it in Tinkercad. So that one's super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, the second way that I'm going to show you is how to find a model online from Thingiverse. Um, we're also gonna do a Google search next, but for Thingiverse, you can just type anything into the search and you will find all sorts of models. They also have uh, laser cut projects and some other random projects in here. But remember that this is an open website where people can put contributions here. So um, some of them will be better than others depending on what people make. And let's try first just any random word. I'm gonna type in dinosaur. And if you look, you can see there's all sorts of different models. And when you go to the model, you should be able to get an idea from the pictures of what it's going to look like when you bring it in. Sometimes you can look to and see um, comments, makes. So this is 169 people made it, so that's pretty good. Now let's search for one really quick that we can bring in. I'm going to type in flower just because it's a simple one. And we will pick this printable rose. Now, a warning about downloading them from here. Um, one, like I said, sometimes they work better than others and it's useful if you can find one that shows a picture of the print so you know that it's come out successfully. Uh, also, of course, the comments and when you see makes, that also helps. Uh, but when you click on the download all files, it's gonna download it in a zip file. And that, that's a folder that needs to be open. And then you need to take that STL file out and put it somewhere in your folder. I usually just open it and drag the STL file into my desktop. But if you're using a Chromebook, you just need to put it somewhere else. Okay. So now I'm gonna move to Tinkercad and open that up. So when you're in Tinkercad, you wanna click import, then you will choose your file. And because I just put mine on my desktop, that should be pretty easy. So this one is Rose Open Print Printable STL. So that STL part is really important. Make sure that you're looking for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at 75% just in case it's really big. And then we'll see. And it actually did say how big it's gonna be down there. I just wasn't looking. And sometimes these take a little while, so be patient. Okay, so it finally downloaded and there it is. And this will work somewhat like something you've created. However, it is one piece. So if you want to work with it, you can't take apart the petals. You would have to use holes and solids just like something else. It is scalable. And I actually did it twice. So there you can see it took it a little while, but then they came in. Um, so be patient. I was being a little bit impatient, but you can treat it like anything else you can add it as a whole or solid you can um, multiply them but it is just like bringing in a shape okay so that's that way and that's from thingiverse 
Now you can also do a Google search for 3D models. And there are places where you can get good ones. There are places where they try to sell them to you. So unless you wanna pay for it, I look for free ones. So when you're doing a search, uh, you can type in something like 3D file or uh, what you're looking for, but it's since you know that you're using an STL, doing Flower STL or Flower, Flower STL file makes it super easy. So I just typed in Flower, and again, you could look through all of these. Um, anything Etsy, they're charging you for, and once you get to be a designer, you can actually sell your designs on Etsy too, and people buy them. I know a lot of people that do that for their machines. Uh, you, they buy the designs for laser cut because being a designer means you have skill and that other people need to use that skill. So that is something to know too if you ever want to make money. So I'm going to look at the first one that says simple, flower free, all things that I like when it's simple and free. And we're going to check. Sometimes you go to a website and it says it's free, but it's really not. This one though, it is free. And if I click download, it'll probably pop up some ads. That's how they pay for it being free. And then look for what drops down into your screen. If it happens to be an STL, that's great. If it's a zip on it, that means it's a folder that needs to be open. This one came as a zip file, so I'm opening the folder. Then once I've put the STL of the file, in a folder that I know. I just put mine on the desktop. I'm gonna click import again. Remember, it's an STL file. Choose it from wherever you save it. If you're on a Chromebook, you can actually create a folder for it or just put it in your documents. That's fine too. So mine is flower STL and choose the size of it and import. And you should have a little green moving bar at the bottom that says importing flower. Okay, so the flower came in and as you can see, you can treat it like anything else. You can scale it, you can edit it. Um, if you need any help on importing or changing any of these, the imported files that you find online, let me know. Um, if you want one that has multiple parts on Thingiverse, there are some that have multiple files. So if you open it up and you see a list of different parts of it, you would have to do each part individually. Uh, let me know if that happens and I will help you.